In Vallejo, those who knew of high school football coach Joe Pastrana says he's an integral part of the community and works to keep the children off the streets. Tonight, we go live to KTVU's Christina Rendon with the latest on the coach who was shot just yesterday. Christina? Yeah, Mike, we can tell you that there are a lot of people here in the community that absolutely love Coach Joe. He is a beloved member of not only this high school, but the entire community because of how involved he is in sports. I spoke with a family member who tells me he is at home, he is recovering, and he is resting. And I also spoke with a childhood friend who says really his friend's focus is keeping these kids off the streets. The bond between coach Joe Pastrana and coach Alfonso Hatton goes beyond coaching high school football. The two played sports together as children and give back to their community as coaches for the Vallejo Generals, a youth basketball team they started five years ago. We spoke with Hatton on FaceTime. He's always been very ambitious and passionate about, you know, making sure that these kids, you know, have a better life to live here in Vallejo, you know, through sports. Pastrana, or Coach Joe as he's called, was shot while trying to break up a fight outside Vallejo High School Tuesday afternoon. It's believed some students were fighting with a group of men in the street and someone from a dark colored sedan fired shots as the car drove away from the fight. Hatton isn't surprised Pastrana's tried to step in, saying he's a site safety supervisor on campus. I mean, we make sure these kids get to school. We make sure, you know, these kids get home. I'm sticking up. It's a lot for me. It's like my brother. A family member tells me off camera, Pastrana is recovering at home with his family by his side. He grew up in Vallejo and played sports there before going back as a coach. They're thankful for all the people keeping him in their prayers, hoping for a speedy recovery. On campus, I really love this kids at school right now. Roughly a third of students did not show up for school as extra officers patrol the neighborhood and counselors were brought in from the county. District spokeswoman Selena Bagyao says they're focused on keeping staff and students safe. It's upsetting. We're upset about it. We're angry about it. We are talking about what can we do so something like this doesn't happen again. Hatton, who also coaches varsity football at Vallejo High, is grateful Pastrana will be okay. Even when I was seeing him, he was in the bed, he just kept talking about the plays for the kids and making sure they was getting the defensive packages because he was working on them all that day to make sure that the kids had got them at practice that day. And And yes, in true coach form, he's already thinking about the kids. The team was out practicing today. It was canceled yesterday right after the shooting, but those students are back out on the field tonight with their practice or they are practicing and we're told they will be taking on Alameda High on Friday in Alameda. A lot of uh, a lot of thoughts and prayers going out to this coach and hoping that he gets well soon. We're live in Vallejo. Christina Rendon, KTVU, Fox 2 News. And